Good day. Today I will demonstrate the use of an Excel package called RCC11 Element Design. This package is a free software used for the design of reinforced concrete elements to BS 8110 I will demonstrate the use of this package with a slab design example. When you start up the RCC11 element design package, you will notice a security warning which says some active content has been disabled. Now to gain full functionality of this package, you will need to enable it. So you do so by going to options and then you click on enable this content. So this will make you gain full use of the software. And I'll quickly show you why. Now, on this two section location here, if we didn't enable macros or ActiveX, we will not be able to select this. But now we can select it. So if I click on this tab here, on the slab tab, I will be designing slab. Similarly, if I do so for the beam tab, I'll be designing beams. And similarly, on the column tab, I'll be designing columns. Now looking at this, the package itself on the slab tab, this program designs to BS8110-1997 and in here is the logo. You can change the logo. It is possible to change the logo. Also we have the input section and the output section. The input section is where you input your values. For instance, in the location section, you can enter the name of the slab that you are designing. And then these are the parameters you put in. So we have design moment, redistribution factor. Uh, we have the span, the height of the slab, which is the thickness of the slab panel. And then the bar, the reinforcement bar. Yes, you need to fix it. You need to put the reinforcement bar that you think will work and then the cover to the reinforcement and this FCU is the strength of the concrete and then we have FY the strength of steel and this YC are factors of safety YC and YS are the factors of uh, safety now this is uh, what we do in the input section and you notice that there is no input for loading which means that we will have to calculate the loading which will enable us to calculate the design moment so we need the design moment of the slab panel we want to design before we actually come here at all now on that choose section location you will notice that we can choose some options if we are designing a simply supported slab then which we'll be doing in this example then that is what should be selected now this panel tells us is a one way slab a one-way slab means a slab in which the length of the slab divided by the breadth of the slab is equal to or greater than two the weight of the concrete is 24 kilonewtons per meter cubic the slab thickness is 150 millimeters or 0 0.15 meters the dead weight of the slab would be that is the weight of the concrete which is 24 kilonewton per meter cubic multiplied by 0 0.15 meters which gives us and so when we include the partition loading and the finishing loading of uh, 1 kilonewton per meter squared each we can have a total dead load of 5.6 kilonewton per meter squared so for a residential building life load is 1.5 kilonewton per meter squared uh, our design load calculation is now 1.4 times third load plus 1.6 times life load which is 1.4 times 5.6 plus 1.6 times 1.5 which gives us a design load of 10.24 kilonewton per meter squared for that particular slab panel so the formula for design moment for a simply supported slab is WL squared over 8 
where w is 10.24 kN per meter squared as we calculated earlier uh, length is the 2.45 meters therefore the design moment is calculated as follows that is 10.24 times 2.450 raised to power 2 and then everything divided by 8 will give us 7.68 kN meter so now back to the RCC element design we have determined the design moment we got a design moment of uh, 7.68 kN meter so we just input that into the design moment input space uh, let's leave the residual factor as 1 the span is 2450 now the height is the thickness of the slab which was 150 we can reduce the bar size and say okay we want a bar size of 10 type 10 into it let's leave the cover at 20 millimeter to reinforcement now the fcu is 40 we can reduce it to 30 and then also reduce the strength of steel to 410 now looking at the output it seems the design is okay we have a k value a d value a z value and then we have the area of steel calculated as um, 166 which is less than the minimum as of uh, 360 mm per meter squared and so because it's less than that we provide I mean the software provided and um, you know a steel value of R10 at 200 spacing that is 393 millimeter squared per meter it also checks for deflection that is L over D which is okay so you can see the checks done here deflection is okay maximum spacing is okay and uh, minimum spacing is okay so thanks for watching this video now before i finish i want to go over to this note tab and you will see that this software is a public release version so it's a free software or oh, bye for now